from the, you know, the, the, the benefits of, of uh, um, you know, job security and stuff like that, I mean, why would anyone want to use a client hypervisor? Those think about it, what, what, are, what are your thoughts as far as why this is interesting to you? Isolation. Isolation. Talk about isolation. Isolation, security. Um, so isolation, security, work images from home images. Um, these are things I like a lot.
plugs into the hypervisor, and then we don't, we don't have to run AV in every single VM. So it's interesting. So a client hypervisor, uh, to, to, to me, is, it's not so much about, um, obviously, not, you, know, you don't want to do it for the, for the sake of doing it, but especially if you look at compared to a type 2 environment where, you know, we can kind of see there are certainly benefits of uh, being able to deploy our images to VMs that can run as VMs places. If we could deploy those but still kind of manage the hardware outside of that image, just kind of separating that environment, uh, there's a lot of potential there. So, um, and, you know, th there's, there's probably a uh, hundred kind of little benefits. You can talk about little things like, oh, you can have easy rollback, easy backup, because you can do, you know, delta-based diffs at the disk level. You can push down patches in the background as like, you know, VHD patches, and when you reboot the box, you get the patches. Uh, there's all sorts of kind of little little benefits that you get. But some of these are available today with other third-party add-on products. Some of these just kind of come, I want to say, for free. Not for free product-wise, but if you're using this technology, you sort of get it for free. So there, there's kind of a lot of stuff there. Uh, I, I also talk about that whole vision, that, that the VDI Desktop Virtualization 2010 vision, I've been talking about for, I guess, a year now. To me, the client hypervisor is, is a big part of that. And just the ability that, again, I can create this image that essentially runs anywhere and can run on my client and my server and remote, and, and, uh, and this to me is a key part of it. So these are kind of some of the reasons why I think we're starting to think about this. It's, it's interesting, though, because, again, a lot of stuff right now is hypothetical. Uh, I think there's no hands in this room of people who are actually using these things right now. So we can sort of see, we can see that this might be cool. Uh, but at this point, it, it is kind of, uh, we get the hypothetical value of it. So we, we, we just have to let these products kind of evolve and see what actually happens. Um, so thoughts or, thoughts or comments?